So as always, I always do a quick routine check on some of my drones. Not all of them, because that would take all day, but I went out yesterday flying my Mini 3 Pro and Mini 4 Pro. And this morning I'll just come in to check for any updates. Now I noticed with my Mini 4, no, my Mini 3 Pro, they got two different apps. <laughs> now when I checked the app on my RC controls, I'm gonna do in a moment, um, it was 1.13.1, which is quite an old app really, isn't it? But when I did the RC N1, um, it needed a firmware update, which was interesting, but I'll just mention that in a moment. Uh, the app was 1.13.4. <laughs> but the firmware update really was to, I'll just read it out, um, and it's prevent flight safety risk due to consistent firmware versions between aircraft because obviously there's been loads of updates and it seems at the moment, especially on the fly app, they're, all not, they're not all consistent, are they? Anyway, so what I'd done, I had to uh, rebind my RCN1 with my Mini 3 Pro. And now I'm going back to reconnect with my RC controller. And I'll just sort of take you through the procedure of it. So I think it's always a good, good idea to just have a refresh as well. Okay, so connect the vehicle, do a bit of the power, let's put that on, wait till the noise. Okay, so on the controller you've got the blue light, that will go green once it's fully connected. It's all green, so that's been paired up now. Now the other thing you've got to wait for guys is you've got to rebound bound it. <laughs> so it's just going in now. There it is, right, change the bounds device. Now if you don't do this guys, you only get four times and you might better fly the drone. So you, you always gotta go through this. Okay, so that, that's back in, which is good. So I thought while we're on the controller, I'll just take you through, okay, come off that, take you into the settings. Okay, so I was flying yesterday, which is interesting because I was flying uh, with my RCN1 also, and it had it on the bypass, which is good. Usually I have this on brake. Anyway, let's just check the um, updates. But there you can see the app version is 1.13.1, just to clarify, I'm not telling the pull key. Okay, so the firmware update hasn't changed at all. The actual aircraft firmware is just, there's been an inconsistency between the different makes of drones using the fly app. But I thought I'd put it out there because I think it's interesting because some people might get, if they just bought a new drone, can get a little bit confused of all the things. Anyway, everything else is up to date. So just thought I'd put it out. I don't know if people know about this, that. Uh, when we're using different controllers, they're on different apps. <laughs> Is that a good idea? I don't know. I had no pro I've had no problems flying the drones, guys, but I... Anyway, there'll be another video coming out very soon. Mm -hmm.